Gazzy. Congratulations, another stage, another win into the semi-finals. Tonight though, were you had to maybe be on it yourself because there wasn't a lot coming back, so it was important that you concentrated for it. Yeah, I, even though he wasn't playing very well, I thought I was getting off you know, pr pretty decent and I was putting him under pressure. I think once or twice I started with a 160 and I think it was against the throw as well, so that put him under a little bit, but I think a couple of times he was just throwing darts away, which made it even harder, especially to win the second set. I think he went for treble 19 with three darts and he may as well threw them with his eyes shut, but they still went in. But yeah, it was um, one of those games where I just had to concentrate for myself and just get over the winning line. We know you feed off of the energy on the stage and that as well. When your opponent's flat as well, is that tough for you? No, I, I always concentrate on my own game. doesn't matter about the other player, but you know, sometimes when they do play a little bit better, it, it makes you raise your game. But I thought I played decent enough today. But Against Nathan, I think I'm going to have to up here and put him under a lot more pressure. Must be nice as well going into a semi-final that you haven't had to empty the tank as well, still so the energy levels didn't take a lot out of you today. Well, today, but I mean, Joe Cullen sort of took it out of me a little bit, you know, put myself up against it and had to pull out two sets, you know, probably the best I've played all tournament, but yeah, if I'm going to win it, I think I need to have a lot more sets like that. You and Nathan have had some great battles over, over your years on the stage. He's looking forward to it as well. He said you both give it and it'll just be a good game. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I mean, now that the crowd are filling up and there's a lot more spectators in there, I think we'll both benefit from it. And, you know, Nathan likes to you know, express his feelings as well as I do. So it'll be it'll be a good game. And, yeah, whoever plays the best on the night, I think uh, we'll just come, come through and win that game. Gezi, congratulations. No worries. Gezi, do you feel your experience was crucial tonight? This obviously being Manar's first televised quarterfinal. You've been here and done it before many times. Possibly, but um, you know, I just done my own job. I can't speak for him. I think maybe the occasion got to him a little bit, or or even just playing me. I mean, sometimes when I play players in the past, Michael and, and Peter, then you're playing them rather than playing the game. So maybe he did that today, or just the occasion. Uh, I'm not sure. How much you enjoy this event? This is your third consecutive semi-final. Seems to really found the formula in this double start. Yeah, but I don't think I've been really tested in this tournament yet, and. Apart from Joe Cullen, where I probably, but that was my through, from my own fault. But yeah, I'm sure Nathan's going to play well against me. He always does, and I'm going to be pushed in the semi-final. But if I'm going to lift this trophy, I think I'm going to have to improve and play a lot better than what I have all this tournament. I'm going to have to play like I did in the last two sets against Joe Cullen. So yeah, hopefully I've got that in the locker. I know I have, but it's just whether it comes out. You've got a pretty good record against Nathan. Do you think that has any bearing on it on the contest? Possibly, but you know every game is on the day. You know it doesn't matter. I could beat Nathan ten times, and then the next time on main stage he could beat me. So I think it's the same with every player. It doesn't matter who you play. It's all on the day, and if you bring your A game, you'll win. If you don't, then you're packing. Cheers, Gazzy. No worries. Um, Gazzy, obviously you're both emotional players, you and Nathan. Nathan was saying earlier that he feels like maybe you suppress those emotions a little bit against him. Is that a, is that a conscious thing? I'm not not against Nathan. I think I'm a lot more composed. I don't do, I don't let my emotions get to me as much as I have in the past. And yeah, I'm uh, a lot more experienced. And I know Nathan's going to be bouncing on a stage, but I think sometimes I can use that against him, as people have against me in the past. So yeah, I think I control my emotions a bit better than what Nathan does now. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully he's bouncing around that stage, and I can just uh, feed off him. And with the crowds getting bigger throughout the week, we've seen tonight it's the biggest crowd I think we've had in the arena so far, that really lends itself to that sort of big, big match. Yeah, yeah, Nathan loves the crowd, I do, but I just hope the crowd love us both and give us the respect we need. Though Nathan have had a few boos in this tournament, I have, but uh, I'm sure if they just give us both respect, then we'll have a good game and may the best man win. But yeah, I think the crowd just need to let us play a good game, I think. Perfect. Cheers, guys. No worries.